Oh, fuck. Hey, what's up, you guys? Why is him here? And today I got a response video. And oh my god, my fucking head hurts so much. <sighs> today I'm doing a response to this uh, Pantera fan answers Tom Blagger. Fuck, man, that's wow. So. Comp Lagerth made a uh, video about Pantera when um, someone wrote the word fag on Dimebag Daryl's grave. Oh, I even made a video about it too. And, you know, he's, you know, he makes a lot of good points, Comp Blagerth. I'm not just saying that because, you know, I'm subscribed to him or whatever. Believe me, there's been times I've kind of disagreed with Comp Lagerth when it comes to music, but this one I really do agree with him 100%. And I just watched, you know, the fans, you know, reaction to his thing. The first time I, only, I can only watch two minutes, but this time I watched all, like, 16 minutes, and my god, <laughs> it feels like he was an eraser and I was a brain getting, just, like, he was just rubbing me with this eraser, and I was just losing so many brain cells watching that damn thing. My head fucking kills. But anyway, he's basically a fanboy of Pantera, just like, you know, a lot of other people. And he fully missed, you know, Count Blagger's, you know, point of views and views on the whole situation by probably light years. Not, not miles, like light years, how bad this kid missed. Count Blagger's point. You see, Count Blagger said that, you know, it's a douchebag thing, it's really uh, distasteful and really disrespectful. Yeah, I agree with that. No matter who it is who's dead, unless it's a terrorist or some terrible dictator, if, you know, they have a grave and you write the word fag or any other terrible word to it, yeah, it's, it's very distasteful. I feel like the people who should be really offended you know, are the families and the uh, close friends of Dimebag Daryl. But when the fan base, like, starts saying all that things, like they want to kill the guy, they want to uh, beat the living shit out of him, yeah, it does get a little too extreme. <laughs> it gets a little too extreme. The guy who even did it apologized. Though I really, you know, personally, I wouldn't forgive him for it. At least he did that. You know, and that's something more than a lot of people do. But what I hate is how the Pantera fans react to it. Pantera fans, try, like I said, they try to act so tough, but the moment you say something they don't like in a certain way, they act like the biggest, like, fanboy, fangirl dumbasses out there. Like, you know, I feel like a lot of Pantera fans, like, make fun of, you know, people who listen to pop and like, oh, they're such fangirls and they love this, you know, band like Justin Bieber or One Direction, but the moment you say something bad, they start crying and this and that, and we're so tough. Yeah, Pantera's fucking badass, this and that, but the moment you do it to them, they act like any other One Direction or, or Justin Bieber. They just start freaking out, like, you know, like, Pantera's like this sacred, holy band that uh, you just can't say anything bad about it. It's really getting annoying, all right? I know, like, I, I have a few Pantera CDs, but I'm not a die-hard fan like, you know, this kid was and a lot of other people were, where, you know, all you have to say is, like, you know, Dimebag isn't the greatest guitarist, and I wouldn't freak out, but they would so bad. Another thing that makes it funny is that, you know, he honestly sounds like a, like, 14 year old girl, not how his voice sounds, but like how he's defending his side of the story. It's like, he's a hero. He was like my favorite guitarist, and he's dead in the ground, too. <laughs> like, why, he keeps mentioning that he's dead in the ground. Like, what, like where, where, where else would he be if he's dead? But it's just so pathetic that. This this kid like continuously tries to uh, defend his uh, point of view by saying the same thing that his main uh, 
response is that Dimebag Daryl is a hero and, you know, he's a musician and we should respect him. And, you know, he then says that, you know, he's not a violent person, but he wouldn't mind seeing the guy get hit with a baseball bat or ran over. See, here's the thing, and another thing, too, that, you know, Dimebag said that music doesn't save lives. It really doesn't. I mean, a sound doesn't really, you know, a, any sound really doesn't save your life. And, you know... This kid's making it sound like Pantera saved his life, meaning that it sounds like he's saying that, hey, when I was about to fall off a bridge, Dimebag came out of nowhere and grabbed my hand and pulled me to safety. That's what that kid's kind of making it sound like. And no, okay, I've gone through shit in my life, and believe me, the shit I listened to would probably just made me more insane at the point I was at. And, yeah, music gives me a, you know really adrenaline rush, head, you know, gives me a lot of energy, makes me just stay awake and focused on shit when I'm at work, but never once was I like, oh my god, I just can't deal with this shit, and just played, like, a Anomathrak, was like, oh, my life's fine now, I, I can totally see life in a different way, like, and I don't understand how Pantera fans look at it like that, and, you know, it, it just it's just funny how the kid just seems like any other Pantera fan that you know that he tries to act all humble in his like responses and it's like how come we can't act like that or you know Count Lagerist is so dumb he's this I can't believe he said that and he just sounds like a little kid like how how his responses are and I couldn't I couldn't watch. God, that was just the most painfulest thing to watch, that video. Overall, dude, if you're watching this, like, you never met Pantera. You have no idea what Dimebag was like in real life. For all we know, you know, pictures and interviews don't perfectly describe a person, okay? And for all we know, he could have been a dick. I'm not betting that he was, but for all we know, he could have been. You know... People are completely different, you know, face to face and then interview to interview, okay? But, yeah, Dimebag, there's no such thing as the greatest guitarist either, alright? Even who I consider, you know, my favorite, I wouldn't call him the greatest. You know, that's what you get to realize. There's no such thing as the greatest band or the greatest anything, okay, when it comes to music. We all have different views on things. But getting back to the story, yeah, you're, you're just wrong. That's really all I can say. And, uh, yeah, you're comp you kind of, like, show me why I don't listen to Pantera anymore. It's just the fan base is so babyish, but yet they try to act so, so tough just because of what Pantera was like, okay? It's, it's pathetic. Anyway, Count Blagworth is right, 123%, yeah, 123%, and you're right by, like, negative 50,900, and let me just put the numbers in. Yeah, 50,982.8, you're off by that much. But, yeah, you're, you're just completely wrong, that's all I gotta say. So, yeah, if you can, if you can manage to, uh handle a eraser being dragged across your head and losing brain cells, I suggest watching this video, but if you just want an easy day, just don't watch it. Anyway, it's just my views. XM signing off. Keep the metal.